Otis wants some sushi today, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, most sushi places use their own little spin on every roll, but they have roughly the same things if you if you look at the simple rolls that they have and the sashimi. So we're gonna order some appetizers, some sashimi, sashimi? Sashimi. sashimi and some like normal rolls. So I've got some seaweed salad, shishito peppers, ceviche, bluefin tuna, and three rolls. So we're getting a couple appetizers that are just gonna be simple, nothing deep fried. So, I mean, you could get tempura vegetables or shrimp, or there's gonna be lots of options like that. Maybe spring rolls, or uh, sometimes you can get spring rolls and egg rolls, right? At sushi I mean, you can get fried anything. Yeah, so we're not gonna get something like that, but we're gonna basically start off on a really good foot and we're going to get some seaweed salad and some edamame beans, which are going to be just some things that we can snack on while we're waiting for our food and they're also lower in calorie and honestly delicious. I love seaweed salad. I feel like I could put seaweed salad on anything. And then why we're choosing to get, you said tuna, right? Mm -hmm. So we're getting, uh, we're, we're gonna get bluefin <laughs> tuna. It's uh, one of the higher protein and lower fat of the fish. If you have more fat to work with in a day, um, then choose something like salmon, which would be a fattier fish. So that would be, it might be a better option for you. And we are choosing sashimi because it doesn't have the rice, so it's also gonna be lower carb. And then we can save up those carbs to have our favorite roll. So Michael actually ordered three different rolls. Um, we'll show you what's in those rolls and why we chose those when we talk about the descriptions when we pick them up. And um, what else did we order? That's it. I'm just hoping we have enough seaweed salad left over for some seaweed salad and eggs tomorrow. Gross. <laughs> that is so gross. You just said you would like it with just about anything. Not with eggs. <laughs> All right. Hi there. Can I place an order to go? All right. Uh, seaweed, seaweed salad, shishito peppers, ceviche, bluefin tuna sashimi, oak hill roll, the Eurasia special roll, and the pretty roll. That is it. Eurasia Sushi Bar. How's it going? I'm most excited to eat some sushi rolls. Which one? We, um, I don't know, something called the, the pretty roll. It's a spicy one. The last time we went out to eat sushi, it ended up being just like Japanese food and just like a bunch of tiny pieces and I'm just like craving a roll. <laughs> we just got back. We ordered a bunch of sushi. Here you've got ceviche. Here we have our sashimi that Michael's eaten half of already <laughs> because he just couldn't possibly wait. We got the tuna sashimi, and that's gonna be much, much lower fat and higher in protein as compared to something like a salmon, which is gonna be higher in fat. We're opting to have the salmon instead inside of our sushi roll over here. Also, um, these are topped with protein, so they have protein on the inside and protein on the outside. Uh, one thing that you can notice on these rolls that if I was trying to be a little bit more precise with my nutrition and not as uh, much estimating is that there's sauces on top. I would definitely ask for those sauces on the, on the side and then I could have like a little bit on each piece. But this one in particular has a, a, what it looks like a mayo sauce on top, which is definitely gonna have a lot of fat in it. And this one over here has a thicker, almost soy sauce kind of, um, it's like a thick syrup almost, which um, as you can taste it, it definitely has some sugar in it, so it's going to be higher in carb. So getting those two things on the side is uh, going to be um, a better option if you're trying to be a little bit more precise with your nutrition. Here we have seaweed salad, which Michael kindly just fed me. We love sushi, so oftentimes, I mean, you can find these things in my fitness pal. So if you get something like a California roll, you can search California roll. Um, you can search special roll. Uh, there's also a website called sushifaq.com, which has a lot of different options for the nutrition information for sushi. Usually, 
When it comes to sushi, especially the rolls versus the sashimi, keeping it simple is going to be your best friend. So simple ingredients, uh, not so many sauces, tempura, that type of stuff. Um, it's going to maybe not be as delicious, but it's definitely gonna be friendlier on your macro budget. To be completely honest, I spent, I don't know, triple the amount of time I usually would trying to pick these rolls. And I was really excited that I thought I got like macro friendly rolls. And what I realized was that I wasn't paying enough attention to what was actually in them. I just looked at uh, like what the meat was and I missed a couple key things like there's mayo on top of one of the rolls and there's a syrup on top of another. So I learned a lot during the process. I hope you did too. Our infographic on how to order sushi at a restaurant will also have more tips that can help you avoid those kinds of mistakes <laughs> and give you some keywords to look for when you're looking at your sushi rolls so that you can still have sushi and be on top of your goals at the same time.